Good morning, it's time for a cup of joe. I want to be a cup of joe, the first sip in the morning. Ah, it's a bit chilly in the quiver today because Aaron and the kids are gone, and when Aaron and the kids are gone, I turn the heat way down. So it's a nice crisp 50 degrees Fahrenheit here, which isn't so bad considering the money that I'm saving. I actually have no idea how much money that saves, but I'm just hoping it saves a good amount. I had what I call a furniture turning point recently, a turning point with how I think about furniture. A long time ago on one of my first videos, someone commented, hey, you should do a video about furniture and how much space that takes up and how you should minimize your furniture. And I'm like, oh, I can't really do that because furniture is something I kind of have a lot of. So I made one of the rooms upstairs into a common room with a great big couch and chairs to sit on and even a bed. The purpose of this room was to just have somewhere to hang out, like especially if Aaron's putting the kids down to sleep downstairs and we want it to be quiet down there, we can have somewhere upstairs, different from the living room. It comes in handy too when we do a cousin party once a year so that there's room for people to hang out and sleep upstairs and downstairs and everywhere, and I just really like having a place to hang out and chill. Until recently. So about a month ago I was at Volunteers of America, my favorite secondhand store, and I was looking around and I found this chair that I absolutely loved. It's like an I don't know what you call it, like an armchair, and it's got this awesome footstool, and it's a chair that I've actually had my eye on, that my aunt has one like it, and it's so cool, and I've always, I always thought, oh, I wish I had a chair like that. So I see this chair, and it's like a blue, like leathery kind of chair. It's kind of in bad condition, but it was only $5, which is like awesome. But then I'm thinking, oh, I'm a minimalist, do I really need this? Where am I gonna put it? Is Erin gonna like it? If I wanna put it in the living room, she's probably gonna hate it because it's kind of in bad condition and it's blue and the rest, of our the rest of our furniture is green and brown and will it match and will she like it and I don't know. So what I often do with stuff at secondhand stores if I'm not sure if I wanna buy it is I just remove myself from the situation and then come back later and if someone else bought it, then that's the end of that. And if not, well then maybe I'll take it. So I go to work and at work I'm thinking about it and I'm like, why? It's five dollars if Aaron doesn't like it I can just donate it back it's five bucks who cares so I go back to buy it and it's gone and now I'm kind of disappointed because I had my hopes up of getting it and it's kind of my dream chair but at the same time someone else got it and maybe it was their dream chair and maybe they really wanted it and so I was able to let them have it so I kind of had this bittersweet taste in my mouth afterwards and I don't know, it just stirred something, sort of an unrest in me. Like, I've always had my eye on that chair at my aunt's house, and now I finally have the opportunity, and I let it slip through my fingers. I kind of felt stupid for not buying it in the first place, I guess. But at the same time, I was kind of glad because maybe Aaron wouldn't have liked it, and whatever. I just don't have to deal with it. And besides, I still have my green chair, which is a perfectly good armchair. So I come home, and I just have this feeling of unrest. So what do I do? <laughs> I purge. And I go upstairs to this room with all this furniture, a couch, and armchairs, and I look at two of the armchairs and think, you know what? I was about to get rid of one of you to be replaced with this awesome chair that I love. Why would I keep you around if I don't love you just so that, what, every now and again, pe when people come over, they can have somewhere to sit? Like, no. These do not get used enough. So I took two armchairs and purged them. So because I wasn't able to buy one chair that I loved, I was able to let go of two others. It was a really weird thing. And this happened before Christmas, before the cousin party. So even with getting rid of both of those, we still had a great cousin party. There were still plenty of places for people to sit. Those two chairs did not go missing. But I was not done yet. So we have the party, we have the people over, and after they're gone, I don't know, something within me just shifted. And I thought, I love hosting this party, but I don't need all this furniture. Why would I keep all this furniture around when this part only happens once a year, and even if I still host it without all this furniture, will it really be that bad? Will people really have nowhere to be? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. So we had a table. I always set up these tables as like a game room and another room upstairs that we don't use, and I'm thinking people can play board games or card games, and it really never gets used. No one ever goes in there, really. People just end up hanging out doing other things in other rooms. So, I got rid of one of the tables. Boom. And in addition to getting rid of those two chairs upstairs, I decided to get rid of this couch. Now, it's a huge couch. I really loved it when I bought it because it's, like, longer than the average couch. You can fit, like, tons of people on it. But again, it would probably be more handy for, like, watching a movie or something, but I don't even own a television, so there's never a time when you really need a row of people just sitting in a couch. That's not really conducive to hanging out with each other, you know? And while it did get used, people did sleep on it at the party. I don't want this huge couch sitting around just for something like that. Now, meanwhile, Erin decided that when the summer kicks in and we're not sleeping by the fireplace anymore, she wants to make one of the upstairs rooms into our bedroom. So that's one more reason to get rid of this couch, because it's up there in what will soon be our bedroom. 
So I decided to get rid of that couch, and then I also decided I don't need that green chair that I make my Cup of Joe videos in. That's literally the only thing I use that chair for, is making my Cup of Joe videos. I used to have it to like, you know, sit in and read and stuff, but I just don't do that anymore. I don't have the time for it, and whenever I do end up doing a little reading or something, it's usually in the living room on the couch, so... I realized I don't need to keep that big chair around. And that chair has been in my life for a long time. I got it ever since I graduated high school. It's from my grandma's house. My roommate used to take naps in it all the time. It's been through so much, but it's time to let it go. I don't need it. And Erin's fine with getting rid of those. She's fine with getting rid of the big yellow couch. She's fine with getting rid of my green chair. But then the couch wars started. Okay, here's the thing. We have two brown couches in our living room. So when we moved here, we wanted a couch in the living room. Now we have never bought a piece of furniture brand new up to this point. But the thing is, as far as the couch was concerned, Aaron and I both had such specific tastes that we just thought it would be very unlikely or take a while to find a couch secondhand that we both liked. Like I was always finding couches that I liked, but she thought they were too ugly. So we decided to just break down and go to a furniture store and buy when, as we bought our house, kind of included in the cost of buying the house as buying a brand new couch. So we found this couch that we both liked, and it was on sale only $400, which $400 is like more than we've spent on any of the furniture we have combined easily. But still, we decided to just include it with the cost of the house and think of it that way, and just buy the couch. And it's this cute little brown couch, and I end up not liking it because it's not as comfortable as I thought it would be. It's got these, like, big puffy cushions behind you so that it takes up a lot of your, like, back space so your butt doesn't have much space. And, like, I don't know, my legs just go hang off. I just, it's not comfortable. I would honestly rather sit on the floor. So then eventually I find a brown couch at a secondhand store, Salvation Army, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this couch, it's so awesome, it's much more comfortable, and it's brown. So I send a picture to Erin, she says, okay, buy it, because it's in good condition, so I buy this couch for like 75 bucks, and so then we have two couches in our living room, which is really awesome, when we have guests over, we have these two couches, and Erin's rocking chair, and then I realize we don't need two couches, and that's where the problem begins. So I'm like, Aaron, we don't need two couches, obviously. We only need one. We are a couple with three kids. She always sits in her rocking chair with the babe, who's not going to be a babe much longer. He is growing on up. But we're not, we don't, we don't watch TV. We don't sit around ever. There's not really ever a time when, like, the whole family's just sitting around. And when we are, people are sitting on people's laps and etc. etc. So anyway, so I'm like, we don't need two couches. I'm just tired of all the furniture. I'm tired of rearranging the furniture and like dealing with it. Let's just get rid of the couch. Obviously we should get rid of the uncomfortable couch. Get rid of the couch that no one uses and let's keep the couch that gets used a lot. Erin did not like that. She did not like that at all because she thinks the couch that I like is kind of ugly and she loves the couch that we bought when we first moved in. She thinks it's so cute and matches the living room perfectly and matches all the other furniture perfectly. So it was a problem. Oh. And this was like, we don't really fight much or argue, but this was something that we kind of had a heated debate about because I just got so mad. At first I was like, okay, you know what? Fine, we'll just get rid of the couch that I like and we'll keep this other couch. So I moved that couch out of the living room and kept her cute one she liked so much and I tried to make it work. I did. I sat on it for like a week and I would just end up sitting on the floor and I'm just like, I don't like this couch. It's not comfortable. There's not room on this couch. You couldn't even fit many people. And like, when my kids are climbing on me, it's just, oh, it didn't work. And I'm like, and so then we kind of got into it. And I'm just like, Aaron, why would we have to keep a couch that you don't use? You only like to look at it. We could take a picture of it and put it on the wall. Oh, and also I found out that the reason, she was convinced that we, like, the couch just needed to be broken in. She thought it was like maybe too firm because it was still kind of new. We only bought it like a few years ago. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It doesn't need to be broken in it's not, there's not room for me, and I'm not a big person. Finally, I had to just, like, measure. I measured <laughs> how much room there is to just prove, without a doubt, that there is much more room on the couch that I like. So eventually, she saw reason. She didn't want to get rid of the couch because she loved it so much, though. So we decided that the cute couch can go upstairs into our bedroom, which I am so not happy about, but I'm, uh... So that couch is going to go upstairs. My comfortable, supposedly ugly couch is going to stay in the living room. Yeah. 
the thing of it is I can't move these couches up and down stairs on my own. So we're kind of in limbo right now. The huge couch is still upstairs. Aaron's cute couch is just in the hallway waiting to get moved up. So at some point, I'm going to have to get someone out here to help me move this stuff. But until that happens, we just get couches everywhere that we don't want. That is my furniture turning point. So now our living room just has a couch and a rocking chair. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. I want to be a cup of joe. Your first sip in the morning. You get your going ritual. And want me so from within. Ah, love you. Bye. And for the record, I've seen a lot of minimalist blogs in the past talking about, do you really need a couch? Who needs a couch? And I suppose now that I think about it, that's from coming from people who don't have kids. But like to me, chairs take up so much space and only seat like one person. Whereas a couch takes up more space, but you can fit, you can squeeze way more people on it. You can lay on it. You can take a nap on a couch. Like a couch seems way more practical. You can cram all the kids and read them a story. I don't know. I say get rid of the chairs, those big comfy armchairs and recliners and all that. Get rid of those. Who needs that? Couches, they build community. Unless you're a minimalist, in which case they tear your marriage apart.